Good evening, everybody. Uh, gonna get another shaven. Uh, I'm doing something different. Uh, I notice uh, I'm finally on the big shave. Thank you, guys. Um, I want to join it. It's been interesting watching stuff and reading stuff on there. Um, I've been wanting to join it, so I finally did. Um, I noticed Darren. I think it's Kato12. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but um, I think your name is Darren. You just acquired a vintage straight razor, um, which you wanted to see if it was shave ready. Most of the time, you got to get them honed, which um, is pretty much par for the course. I even ordered my first two straights, which were, ended up being junk ones, um, said shave ready. Um, and when I got them, they weren't, and I learned the hard way that they never are, um, especially, obviously, vintage. Um, anyways, I have a vintage razor. It's not super, super old, but I don't know if you can read it. Probably not. Right there. It's Worcester Razor Company, Worcester, Massachusetts. So right up the road for me. Um, so it's a, it's a nice razor. It's a regular celluloid uh, handle. Um, tang. Um... Scales, excuse me, scales. That's a tang. Scales. Alright, sorry. I haven't used it in a while. Um, it's got a barber notch, which is kind of cool. That's what caught my eye to it. Um, and it's still sharp. I've had it for a while. Um, I just haven't used it. I kind of fell in love with double edge uh, blades uh, and single edge blades. So I haven't used it for a bit, but I, uh, I did a trial run the other day to make sure I could still use one without cut my face up and again woohoo so here we go just need to defog the mirror a little more I apologize for the squeaking but uh, today we are going to be using some um, Sella shave soap and we are going to bowl uh, not bowl lather face lather um, I've already got some uh, Parasso pre-shave on there so basically just a general prep and getting ready here. So I'll shake it out. Some water. I'm gonna, not going to fill the bowl just so you know. I'm never good straight razors. Unlike DE, never ever good policy to um to rinse it in a bowl of water. You want to run the water underneath it. Um, some guys right, wipe it on their forearm, kind of an old barber trick. And then um, some people wipe it on a towel. Uh, I run it underwater. Just be very mindful of where your faucet head is so you don't ding the edge of it and end up damaging the razor and having to get it either rehoned or even worse, repaired. The cell is looking pretty good already, so pretty well loaded. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the space lather. Now, if any guys watching are straight razor users, uh, I know Shay fan, you are a little bit. Um, if any of you guys are, bear with me. I haven't used it in a while. Been a little bit since I've used one. So, but I've been meaning to. And, um, probably can't see it. I don't know. Try to move it. Nah, you can't. But I got my strop down on the closet door handle. So I've already stropped it. Um, I usually do. 25 on the linen side and then 50 um, on the leather. But, however, you guys want to do it, you know, it, it, the shave forms give different, give, give different numbers. Everybody says, oh, just do 30 on one side or just do 10 on the linen and, you know, 20 on the leather. Figure out what works for you. So, all right, so anyways, we got the uh, soap on. Here, hold on. Your glass is just not defogging right now. There we go. All right. Now, important thing, compared to DE shaving, 
is stretching the skin. Imperative, important, even more so with straight razor than it would be DE. I think Mantic in one of his videos suggests, well he mentions that it's more of flattening the skin with DE, whereas with a straight razor it's more stretching. So um, bear with me if my technique's a little fuzzy, it's been a while since I've used it, so I'm just going to warm up the blade. And I've got about two and a half, three days, I think three days worth of growth. So anyways, here we go. Uh, stretch the skin. I'll puff out those cheeks a little bit. And already pretty dang smooth and I don't know if you can see it on the camera at all, but there it is. There's the hair. That's still very, very, very shaved work ready. And I'm just running my hand on a little bit of alum just to help me with a little bit of grip here. So I'm going to pull the skin up. I could never get a baby butt smooth with a straight razor. Kind of why I fell in love with the DE. Because my grain, the way it runs, is this way. And you really can't bring a razor around there. Because you'll, well, you'll sleepy hollow it. So, not sleepy hollow. Oh, whatever. The Johnny Depp movie with the being a barber shop. Correct me, tw Sweeney Todd. There we go. So, um, anyways, it's going to keep stretching the neck here. And one of the real major keys with a straight razor is light pressure, light pressure, light pressure. Extremely light pressure. Ooh, and I got myself a little bit. Oh, well. Now, those of you that don't use one, um, you can do it one-handed and it works fine if you can figure it out, but always good to try to learn how to do it with both. It makes it a little easier. I tend to know on my neck when I'm going to wrong direction of the growth a little bit right there.
as always, make sure you put it back in there when you're not using it. Because it can, uh, if you drop it, you can cut yourself or damage the blade. So. Quick rinse. And I apologize guys if this video goes a little long. Not quite as quick with the straight as with a D. Now I'm only doing a two pass. Um, just cause. Because it gets it pretty close with a straight edge. I mean, with a straight razor. So now I'm going to go just once across and should be good. And again, a little bit of alum just for just with a stick. So. the neck I mean already it's just fantastically close so all right now we're gonna switch left hand from the right side just what I'm comfortable with so yeah, we're gonna get a little bit of alum on the fingers. Now, at some points, I with this hand, I tend to go almost Japanese style like that. And of course, the mirror's fogging up. Very good. Now for this side of the neck. A little bit of touch up here. I always have trouble on this one little spot with a straight. So we'll go ahead and
a little bit better. Alright, so again, put it away. Um, I'm only doing a two bath thing. So I'm going to clean up the brush real quick. cold water rinse. get that straight razor honed up and use it. I, I started with straight razors. Mistake for me. Um, then I switched to DE instead. Um, see, up and down, it's pretty dang smooth. This way, not so smooth. Faces, fine. Um, but... That's why I fell in love with D, because I can go each and every direction without any problems. So, alright, so we got that. Oh my goodness, we're at 17 already. Whew. Um, aftershave bomb. Um, hmm. Eh, I'm not going out. It's nice. I'll just go with Trumpers. So I'm just going to do cold water real quick. face dry. Well, that's all right. All right, that takes care of that. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, get it honed up. Um, take care of it. Enjoy it. Compared to, I know some guys will say it's a closest shave, which probably, with more practice, I probably could. I just can't get super close on my neck. And there's little techniques called like sloping, where you go down and across at the same time. And I'm too paranoid to slice my neck open, so I don't do it. Um, but every once in a while, it's nice to take it out and remind yourself how they used to do it way back, even before DE. So, um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, sorry I don't have more to talk about, but I'll uh, catch you later. Great shaves, guys.